Alright, so the only things we're really going to need to do this is a pot, measuring cup, and four tablespoons of baking soda. And some, of course, some white distilled vinegar. We need one liter of white distilled vinegar or four cups. And then slowly add the uh, baking soda. You want to add it slowly because if you add it all at once, you're going to get an intense foaming reaction and it's probably going to go all over your kitchen. Alright, I have a hot plate out here. I'm doing it out in the shop because it's, uh, well, it's quite obviously going to smell like vinegar. But now I need to boil off uh, probably about 85 to 90 percent of the liquid in here. And that's going to take some time, probably maybe an hour, an hour and a half. You really need to keep an eye on it, especially when the uh, fluid level gets low. Alright, so about 70 percent of the solution has been reduced. You might be able to see little white specks along here. Those are actually sodium acetate crystals. And I'm going to save those for later. I'm not going to put them back in. I've also reduced the, reduced the temperature on the, uh, the hot plate. Because once it starts forming crystals on the top, I want to shut it off as fast as I can and get it covered. Because if you let the crystals go too long, another chemical reaction, reaction actually takes place and it will ruin the hot ice experiment. Okay, crystals are just starting to form right here on top. I don't think you guys can see that. But I've shut the heat off. And I'm actually going to pour it into this little bowl now. Okay, now that I have it covered, now I need to drop the temperature of this down below it's a uh, melting point which is 135 degrees Fahrenheit so for this I'm actually gonna put it into an ice water bath however you can put it into a refrigerator it'll just take a little bit longer you can see some of the uh, residual hot ice in this pot has actually crystallized to a white I'm gonna take this plastic tablespoon I'm just gonna scrape all this stuff up and collect it then I'm going to put it in here and save it for later. Alright, I've taken it out of the ice bath and I think it's cool enough. Don't feel any heat coming off of it. Take some of these crystals I've gathered, put a little bit on my finger. Just stick it in. Now in order to repeat the, uh, the crystallization process, all I have to do is heat it up again, either in a microwave or like I'm doing right now in a hot water bath. The reason why it's called hot ice is because when it when it forms those crystals it actually generates heat about 130 degrees Fahrenheit so it can burn you if you leave your finger or your hand in it for too long are a couple little crystals down at the very bottom that aren't wanting to go so I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of vinegar a couple drops just enough to get those crystals To dissolve and here it is liquid once more I have about uh, 115 milliliters or just just under half a cup I'm gonna put that back in the ice bath cover it of course and that's done
Well guys, thanks for watching.